Hey guys, what's up? I welcome you all in another tutorial of Codec. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect your Java project with MySQL database. Okay, so for this task, we need to do two things first. First, we need to download MySQL jar file, which is also called connector J. And next, we need to create a Java project to connect it with our MySQL database later. So we will start by downloading this jar file first. So click here to open your web browser and write MySQL connector jar download. And uh, click on this first link. Okay. Uh, I will add this link in description for you guys as well. So you guys can just uh, directly access this web page and scroll down and you will see these two download buttons and the second one is for a zip file so we need this one so click here to download and uh, once again scroll down and uh, just click on this link okay so our zip file has started to download I have this file already downloaded so I'll cancel this one and show you guys that downloaded that's the file you guys gonna get once the download is complete so we need to extract this here first so extract here and uh, double click on this extracted folder and uh, that's the jar file we wanted uh, <clears throat> in the first step so we are done uh, with our first step here so let's move on to our second step which is creating the java project so open your eclipse and click file new and java project and click and write database connection actually you guys can name your project uh, as you like i'll name it database connection so we need to create a class and so I'll name this class as uh, connect db and uh, I need this main method here so I'll check this box and uh, click finish okay so first of all we need to uh, create a few uh, database connection variables so uh, first of all we need to create a variable of type connection so write connection and I'll name this variable as connection and initialize it to null for now so it will it's going to ask me for the import and uh, that's the java.sql and next we need to create a few more variables static string static string database uh, name and that's the name of database we will give the name later and next write static string url and uh, the url is jdbc colon my sql colon double slash local host colon double three zero six and uh, again slash we will concatenate our database name here at the end so write database name and that's uh, next uh, create uh, another variable static string user name that's the username of your mysql workbench and my the username of my workbench account is root and the password is uh, password we need to create a variable for that too uh, my password is that is one you need to give here your password of course so that's it uh, we need to uh, jump in this method now so write class dot for name and uh, inside <coughs> as a parameter parameter we have to write com dot my sql dot jdbc dot driver and uh, write dot new instance 
okay so it's going to <clears throat> can insist for the exception so next write connection connection equals uh, driver manager dot get connection and inside and this method uh, get connection needs a few parameters so the first parameter is the URL uh, variable we created uh, <clears throat> and the next parameter is the username and then the password okay so <clears throat> it's uh, again for uh, uh, saying for adding the throws declaration so we will do that and save this here okay so we need to write a few more lines of code here but uh, before that we will switch uh, we will open our SQL workbench and create a database first so open your SQL workbench and click file new model and uh, I'll name my database as student database and uh, I'll add a table with name student the first column is uh, student ID give it integer of course and I'll check this auto increment box here and next right another column name and uh, I'll leave it there and <clears throat> now click this database button forward engineer and click next click next click next and once again next okay if at any step it asks you for any password or something just add the password of your workbench uh, account you can say account or connection whatever you say okay so <clears throat> click close now and click once again database and connect to database it may ask you guys for any passwords so <clears throat> you just uh, you guys just have to enter the password of your workbench that's it nothing to worry about click ok and uh, that's our database <clears throat> student database and that's the table we created okay so now once again uh, open your Eclipse and write prepared statement PS and that's the variable name and connection dot prepared statement okay so what I'm doing here is that I am writing a query uh, to insert a record in that table student table we just created so this uh, will also make sure that our database is connected and uh, we can, we are able to enter the records in that table <clears throat> so uh, we need to write a query here uh, i'll write the insert query that's the query i've already having you can just write uh, for now just leave it to insert so it's insert into student database dot student that's the database name that's the table name and that's the column name we haven't mentioned the id the primary key column here because we <clears throat> uh, checked the auto increment box so uh, we don't need to worry about that so i'll uh, next write int status uh, that's a variable of type integer and write ps dot execute update okay so this execute update method always returns uh, an integer value if the execution was successful then it will return a value which will be greater than uh, which wouldn't be at least zero uh, if the execution was successful so we'll write an if statement here if status is not equals to zero then do print though <clears throat> just print that uh, database was connected and sys out
sort that record was inserted okay so before you run this method in this class the most important part of this tutorial is we need to add the jar file the jar the file we downloaded we need to add that in our project so uh, open your system explorer and that's the folder we, go, uh, we got after uh, unzipping open it and that's the jar file okay so just simply drag it in your project just simply drag this in your project uh, yes okay copy files and uh, that's the jar file okay so just right click it now and uh, build path add to build path right so that's it i hope this works now and there won't be any issue okay so yes our database was uh, connected sorry and our record was inserted so let's uh, open our workbench and click here okay so that's there you can see uh, the record was inserted successfully <clears throat> that's it guys uh, the database was connected uh, the java project was connected with mysql database and uh, <clears throat> that's what we had to do so thank you guys i'll see you guys in next tutorial peace